Well, hello, my YouTube fellas and gals. So, I finally got all my journals done and ready from 2021 to show you. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't watched any of my live streams, then you would not know some of the people that come into my streams. And then I also go down Etsy like in the month of November and I randomly pick somebody to buy from as long as the journal resonates with me because I also think it's nice to support an Etsy seller before Christmas. So they have extra Christmas money or if they don't celebrate Christmas, well, they can just buy crafts. So let's begin because it's going to take a little bit. This is the journal that I picked out of an Etsy store randomly and I'm so glad I did because... I met a very lovely lady named Safina. She's from the UK. These are her dangles. And I absolutely love her dangles so much that I even had her homemade two more for me. So that I could have a blue butterfly and another one with a black horse in the center. Because you know my love of horses. So this is her beautiful spine. I think this is gorgeous. I love the denim. It says charming fragments and I love how she used these really cool felt ties to untie. But when I saw this journal, I was like, oh yeah, it's got to be part of my collection. So what I do with the first pocket here is I'll put like receipts of stuff so I can go back and actually compare prices this is her business card. Rang D Life is art by SM. And there she is. She's on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And there's her Gmail. And this is her Rang D Life is art is her Etsy. So I was so glad we met because then when I told her I had a YouTube channel, she come to visit me. This is Charming Fragments is the name, I guess, of the paper line. But look how beautiful this journal is. Sometimes when I go through my journals, I leave pages like this in case I want to add pictures or something to it later. But she's very, very creative. This was sewn in. I started Friday, January 1st. And I skipped through. And I wrote all through this. This is how I utilize my journals. Sometimes I'll add stickers or pictures along the way if it's not really a highly decorated book. And sometimes I even doodle. But when they're crafty like this, I love it because it's already done for me. And it's almost like scrapbooking slash journal because I love how that shows through because of the simple fact that you can use these as borders behind your pictures or you can m do mixed media you can add little pictures here there's so much potential for journals like this but she did a lot of sewing and i really love her eclectic taste and colors in pages i like the variety of colors sometimes it's like I said, the journal has to be, look at how beautiful that page is. It has to really resonate with me. Here's a little hidden pocket. Sometimes I journal on them and sometimes I don't. I save them for stuff later. Because I do go back through my journals and I will add stuff at times. It's like every time you go through a journal like this, I think you see something new. That's what I feel like. There's a journaling card. So we can use these to write on too. But I left them. <laughs> but I love how she has such a variety. She does her edging. She's got the pom-pom. She's got the, the fuzzy stuff. This was just, this is just beautiful. And of course she's got something in every single pocket. This opens up if you want to use the inside. Sometimes I use the hidden part, sometimes I don't. But this gives you a taste of what upcycling books can look like. And you know, they try to save some of the stuff from the landfill. Sometimes they just use regular book board. 
she had everything in here. Like, I see a lot of her talent all through this book. And her dangles are amazing. And I love what every country brings to the table. You know, because they might get some papers we can't get. Especially in vintage-wise. But yes, you can see that I have the love for journaling. Because I write every single night before I go to bed. And I forget a day, I will catch up. But I find it best for me to write before I go to bed. Because sometimes... I might forget pieces that happen and I'll think about it after I wrote and it's like, no, it's too late and I can't put it in. So I do try to keep up. But this is just a flip through to give people an idea at how beautiful these journals can turn out. And look how pretty even with the writing. And I mean, I'm not saying my writing's pretty, but they really do look pretty. And they're like, a, they're like these type of journals that you just want to keep going through. It's not like you just journal and set them aside and you're done. I like going back through my journals. Especially when you're looking up an event or something that happened and you may have forgotten the date. This is another pocket. I like how she did a little index. But I wanted to show her work. I promised that I would share her talent. And here it is. And plus I want the people to notice how eclectic my taste really is. I want you to see the different styles that I like. Because I am very picky when I pick out my styles. My favorite is the 6 by 9s Because... I actually don't have to cut off my words when I'm writing. But look how cool that is even with like accounting style paper. This is why we like the papers we do. So the next time you get critical about us tearing up books, you, you these are fantastic. Look at that telegraph. Um, ways to icicle books that nobody wants. And we do use the pages. There's lots of ways that you can use the pages in the books. Sometimes books just get overcrowded and they don't sell. I own a used bookstore and I post them in the Facebook marketplace. I post them on YouTube and they just don't sell. So we find ways to do it. Look how pretty these library cards are. I love seeing that. And then here's a lace pocket. And this is why we buy so much crafts. And I believe this is a Tim Holtz pull. But another thing that you can use right here for an idea is a, a drawer. Like if you go in and you look for different drawers in your um, stores, the little pools, these are beautiful for that too. And I love these lobster claws. She did an amazing job on this. She really did. I love this journal so much. It's one of my favorites. So then, this one goes from January, let's see, so I can tell you, from January 1st, 2021, and then when I got to February, because I wasn't, let me see here, okay, this goes into March, okay, February is skipped in here, so this is what I do. January 20th, January 26th, 29th, 31st. Okay, now, this is what I did at the end. I put, I'm off to my Valentine's journal. Now I'm back to this journal. Once I left this book, I left this blank. This I come back on March 1st. And the reason why I do that, and I finish this book in March, is because I like Valentine's Day journals. Valentine's for Valentine, the month of February. So we're going to set this aside. So we skip to this journal. And I met another fun lady on... Um, I did a giveaway with the other one. I think Maddie won it on my channel 
when I had my sale and she ended up winning the other one. So what I did was I bought two of these and did one as a giveaway. So this one here I bought off of the Etsy, out of Etsy Random. Introduced myself to the person. She also has a YouTube channel that I follow. I think it's Tina's Crafty Life is her whole thing. There's two Tina's I follow. There's Tina's Messy Crafty Life and then there's Tina's Crafty Life. And she, this is just Tina's Crafty Life. And I don't know if I have... Let me see. I got notes in here. I always stick junk in them too. I'll tell you here in a second. I try to keep their receipts in. Yeah, she goes by that on here. Or, may, or maybe not. Maybe this is somebody else. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. No, that was a Christmas one I'm thinking of. No, this is a different shop. So thank goodness I checked. This is Jushal Paper Goods. And that's her Etsy. Z-U-S-C-H-E-L. And she is from Arizona. And her name is Alice. Excuse me. She says, thank you, Allison. So I'm glad I looked it up. So that's where I got my Valentine's book. So I started writing in it. Look how stinking cute this book is. Now it's not as bulky and that I'm okay with that because I only want it for the month of February. So that's when I was talking to my live stream and I said, when I buy, you know, a book for that, I only want to, I'm fine with one signature, just something small because it's just going to be the month of February. But look how cute this is. It's like out of a file folders. Vanilla file folder is what this was made out of. So no books were ripped up. <laughs> <laughs> but this is fun. She has XOXO tag and I love you. A little sentiment there. And then here's her dyed papers, which are so cool. And these are my days for Valentine's Day. And then she had this cute little envelope. I love this um, paper line. It's very pretty. I like how the books are wrapped up. <clears throat> and then in here, it's Velcroed. You get this little lantern card. <laughs> I think this is so cute. This is adorable. And the prices on these were very, very reasonable. Now, I did run out of room, so I used some of my coffee dyed paper to fill in the rest of the month because I was short. It was short, but that's okay. I'm okay with that because I have my own dyed paper. One, two, three, four. There was four extra pages that I added to this to actually complete because two, I write a lot. <laughs> and then there was this cute little envelope it's like a pillow that you could stick something in if you wanted to. And then there's a little Valentine booklet that I used. But this one here I used pretty much every page. But I love how she decorated. It was simple. It was cute. And I just love it. It's frilly. And it's pink, people. So don't be shocked. <laughs> I like it because it had a mixture of colors. And it represented it represents Valentine's Day to me. Usually when I think of Valentine's Day, I think of pinks or blues. So I was really happy with this one. It says love and cozy on the tabs. Isn't that like not cute? So then we come back to this one. And of course, this is from February 1st to let's see, 19th. 18th, 19th, yeah. This goes to the 28th, of course. And then when you go back into this, I say I'm back and it's back till March. And then I, I continue through this and I don't stop. And this book lasted me. And I like it because people have to really look if they go to read my journals one day. 
We're going to have to figure out how I did it. And I think that's funny. May 10th. May 11th. Okay, so this goes to May 11th. So now we're looking for May 12th. Tie this up. And then I have a shelf that these sit on when I'm done. Now, the next one we have, I'm so excited to share this one because this was actually the very first book I had bought off of Etsy as a junk journal. And I love this book. She did an amazing job. She was very reasonable in her price. Look how pretty that is. It's my first hardback. And I love it. It's got Amazing Grace with the violin. It's got a tie. You open this one up. And I believe her name was Luna Crafts. I'll see if I have the receipt in here. She's got a beautiful little piece of music here. Look how pretty that is. That is so vintage looking. Music can change the world. I love musically inclined books. This is so cute. I love this type of paper. Tracing paper where you can add stuff. Sing your song. She has beautiful images in here. Okay, let me see. This starts May 12th. I'm looking. Nope, that's not it. This was one of my first ones, so I'm not sure. Nope, not here. I don't think it's in here. These were what she had. She had this, and she had this lady, and then I had tickets. We went to see The Incredibles <laughs> with our grandkids. I stick stuff in here that's random that, that I did in that month. Wow. I found some cards in here I forgot I had. Look how pretty these are. Oh, those are so pretty. I love swans. So we will put this with my card collection. When I buy some of these journals when I'm shopping, sometimes I stick stuff in them so I don't I know I won't lose them. No, it's not in here. These are other receipts. But I do believe it's Luna Crafts, L-U-N-A, that I bought this off of. So I try to keep the receipts in them. Sometimes I forget. And she had some really cute stamps. Love her stamps in here. And then here is really cute pictures and just... New York marks get different ads in it, and sometimes they'll stick little dyed pieces of paper for extra journaling places. Love eyelash trim because it's so spiky. And then here we have some more pieces that she added, and here's a cute little envelope. But hers goes sideways and up and down. It's it's just different. And then here's her belly band. And I like this little idea so it doesn't fall out the bottom. And her price was so reasonable. I believe I only paid $26 for this entire journal. 
And it does not mean that if you pay less money that it's less valuable like some crafters say because they're rude. Um, it's all in the eye of the beholder and what people want to charge. There's extra. So if a person charges from, you know, $20, $10 to whatever, that's their preference. And for all the work that she did in this, definitely I feel like this is worth more than $26. But hey, I'm not complaining because I love the price what I paid for this. It does not have to be super expensive. And I feel like... You know, to me, I don't want people to miss out that can't afford to pay for journals. You know, I, I really don't. That they can't afford the $200, $300 price range. I like it that everybody of all walks of life, whether you're a frugal, you know, spender or an expensive spender, I believe that they should have cheap ones or, or however they want to price them. But I just think that it's nice to have a wide range so that people that don't have a lot of money can afford these too. Because this might be all they have. And that's why I love the Disabled Artists Organization. Because they make it affordable for people that can't afford stuff. When they help them with crafts. And that's why I think it's awesome. Because you shouldn't have to pay an arm and a leg. To enjoy yourself. Look how beautiful that is out of pencil. So these here. This here is just a beautiful never-ending lovely journal and everything she put in it and I will always cherish this journal but like I said when people do journals if it resonates with you that's when you want to get it and I love music and I love the color blue and I do like vintage and I just I really love how she did this and look, see, ways you can use book pages are throughout the book. They have different types of folds. Look how beautiful that is. She, she made wonderful use of book pages. She really did. Look at that. And I'm only sharing the price with some of them because of the reason that I do think they should be affordable. It's nothing to do with bragging when I even show anything that I buy. I just want people to appreciate what's out there and what we do with it. Because I plan to use my purchases. And what I don't use, I'll resell or put in Happy Mail. This idea really sprung with me too because... When I was on MSN, we used to make doors in our digitals and, and play with doors and stuff. And I just love that she added this because I haven't seen anybody do this in a really long time. So this was cute. And look how cute this little piece is. Just extra papers. Because the whole concept of a junk journal is you're supposed to use what you don't want to trash. You know, what you want to turn into art and you can salvage. But I love how she did this door and put that butterfly. And I actually added one of these features to one of my journals, too, that I had given to someone as a gift. We did a swap type thing. So this one goes to, I forgot to read the date, July 10th, because I want to make sure I have them in order. So my next one should be, what I say, July? Yeah. So the next one should be July 11th. So then yet again, I was going through Etsy. Or, sorry, YouTube. <laughs> and there was a YouTuber that I followed that... um. So this one starts July 11th that I had met through. Now hers are a little bit more pricier, but hers are gorgeous too. They all are their own. You'll see to each their own in the different styles. I fell in love with this journal because I love sunflowers. I, my yellow who comes in with sunflowers and my yellow roses and I like daisies. So when I saw this and Danny, um, 
Her work is just beautiful. And this is My Adventures. And she's got a very talented sister, too. And this is her journal. Now, this is a little bendy for me. <laughs> I like mine sitting flatter, but I love this journal anyways, just because of its uniqueness. But it was hard to write in because it was rounded, you know, and that's why sometimes they have boards or something that you can put under because this, this one was a little tougher, but I still love it because it's just, you know, because she made it and because I love sunflowers. This started July 11th. But look at the different styles, even in this one. Like, she's got all these beautiful mixture of colors. She puts a little note in here. A note from a bookmaker. <laughs> That's cute. It's a little saying. Handmade journals, altered book, and junk journals are a source of fun and enjoyment for paper lovers for traditional journalers for artists for those who enjoy writing about anything and then it says use it like a notebook a diary a planner for sketches for those thoughts that pop into your head a scrapbook a place to keep your receipts long-term shopping list and inspiration it's a really cute little paper she put in here junk journals and more i was trying to think of the name of her channel junk journals and more is danny's channel and then it goes into this. Another thing I noticed on some of these when they use Mod Podge, the pages stick together. That's the reason why I don't care for Mod Podge because it also depends on the humidity in your area. But I have bought them from all over. Look how cute that is. This is why we like a variety of cards because, you know, being that it's a floral, you can put any kind of bug in here from a ladybug to a grasshopper. But I've just noticed, um, I've gotten them from winter estates and it doesn't matter. My podge it just sticks to me. I don't care for it. I prefer to use clear Elmer's when I'm coating something and I do it with my finger. Look how pretty her stuff is. But that's just my preference. You know, each crafter has their own preference of doing things. But I know... It's just awful when you pay a good sum of money and the pages stick together and when you're trying to separate the pages, it could rip something on another page, like deface it. And that I don't like because you feel like you're getting ripped off of your money, especially if it's an expensive journal. And there she's got more in here. One thing about um, Danny's journals is she's got Velcro sometimes, she uses magnet sometimes, is her pockets are never empty. Sorry, I got carried away. <laughs> she even dyes some of her see-through pages. Look how pretty this is. Let me put a number of cards in. You can always cover these cards. If you don't like what's on them, you can use them to turn them into something else. But she always has something in her pockets, always. And this is a fabric. Look how pretty that is. And she's even got two little tags right in these pockets. Her and her sister create the cutest little pocket tags. But her tracing paper, it looks like she died too. I can't think today. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what they're all called. These are cool too. These lacy. They have these um, doilies they sell sometimes at the Dollar Tree too. And it's nice because you get a lot in a pack for a buck. And then here's a cute little place. But look how pretty that is. Look at the details. She took... And ripped some pages up. There's a music page and a regular page of punctuation. And it's nice when you use books where you know there's no smut in them. So that's why old school books nobody rebuys. These are great to use. Or dictionaries. Um, she did this butterfly. And she did this over top. I love her layering. She put beautiful lace right there. It's just, it's just amazing how many things these people do with little crafting items so you can even make your stash last 
Then here is a very beautiful belly band she did. And those are stamped butterflies with a tag of lace. For people on my channel who don't know, I just wanted you to see the beauty of the stuff. And these come from game pieces. Like if you have games like Monopoly or anything where you lose the pieces or your kids have them, don't throw those pieces away. Please find a crafter and send it to them or put in you know, a plastic bag full of stuff and sell them or find somebody that would be interested in buying them. Here I missed a page. I don't know how that happened. So I inserted an extra page. I do that sometimes. I don't know. I don't know how I did that. I can't remember, but I added it back in. It could have been just something I forgot. And then here are bags. These are light bags. We put bags in to use them as holders. And this is decorated with a napkin. Look how beautiful these are. Love this color paper. Should have fiery orange with some yellow in it. And look how beautiful. And see, I like that for pictures. So I'm a mixture of blank, artsy looking. Look how pretty that pocket is. I just love her journals. She gives you plenty of writing room plus decorativeness. But see this this one here I don't think like I think it was this one it was stuck when I first got it. Because when they mod podge over it sticks but I was glad that this was fabric because it pulled apart. But I've had that happen in a few journals. Then in this page look how cute this is. She even added, with love and devotion, look how cute that is. And it's an ephemera holder. So even if you wanted to make your own sunflower book, you could pluck from this and still keep the book in here. Or add it to your new journal for extra. Like I said, her and her sister are very generous with the pieces you use. And I believe Seneca Pond is who she is a design she designs for but look how pretty and then but i love how she did the mixture of cards look there was a gardener this is called creative child games card and she had a gardener so you can take cards and themes so nicely look how beautiful that is and then these of course got the tag pockets and then her fabric flips. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful her fabric flips are. It's like a hidden place that you could write underneath. And that's a fabric flip. Is that like not the cutest? I've made one of these so far and I just love them. So you have that. And then she sent a bag of more goodies. <laughs> and this ended on... August 27th. Look how pretty that is. The back even. But she sent a whole bag of goodies. Extra. That you could either add into the journal. Or add into your journal. But look how cute that is. Now this journal... was $55. She says, Hi, Tammy. Thank you so much. I love this journal. It was so much fun. I hope you love it. Smiles and hugs. Or, or her, It was either her or her sister made it. She sells for her sister, too. So this might have been one of her sister's journals. Yeah, because I have another one made by her. But yeah, this is her sister. I don't know. Mainly, is that her name? I don't know what her name is, but that's who this one is. But she's junk junk journals for you on Etsy is what the junk journal name is. But she's junk journals and more on YouTube. And I believe the journal I have that she made me, I would already shown. It was uh, Care Bears, the one that um, Danny made. So this was from her sister. 
Yeah, Manya. Manya. There's her name. Handmade with Love. Let's see if I can get this to show. It's M A N Y I at Junk Journals for you. That's cute. So, yeah, this is, they're very adorable. They both did a great job on both of their journals, but they have a lot of the same style. August 28th was the last day on this one. So, we'll begin with August 30th. So that's that one. <laughs> and then next, make sure I got the right date. It's 28th, August 29th, I meant. This was a random Etsy buy too. And I really like this one because I felt it just resonated with summer. So this one's all like cloth. It's got a beautiful ribbon. This is definitely built in. Love boats. I'm a, I'm a lake woman all the way. <laughs> I don't do the beach. I'm more of a definitely a lake person. If I do the beach, it would be, I don't know, just to listen outside of the water maybe while I'm reading, but I'm not an ocean swimmer. I think it'd be fun to snorkel in one, but I just, I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of swimming. So these are receipts I had probably from our antique mall when I was having live sales. And it starts out with an envelope and a bag. And see, lunch bags are good too. And then here is just ephemera that she's got put together and layered on here. So we start out August 29th. Love how she has this piece of fabric. We call these, um, they're like paper clips, altered paper clips. And then here she used fabric, which is cool. And then she's got a book page. And then it goes through here, but just the prices is just giving you a, just giving you an idea of what some of these cost. This paper, I think I actually use, like I said, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but I use this one little journaling tuck there, put, put little secrets in your little envelopes. And then here was a postcard tuck that was really pretty. She had floral and some butterflies, and she used the back of this postcard. Sometimes if we don't like the pictures on the front, I think that's steps, but we like the backs. We can do stuff like that. So even your old postcards or someone, don't throw your mail away. Use it. And look at there. There's an old math paper. Oh, my. Love the color. And then you keep going through here. And she's got another postcard in here, which is really resonates with summer because there's some sailboats. Then she has this little pretty brown button with a safety pin. Love how she dangled it off of that piece of fabric. Then there's a card. And these are cool school pages from old school books. And since they change school books all the time, people never want the old ones. Then there's different sayings, and these are cute too. It's finding little cards with definitions from a dictionary. And then there's another envelope. And she's got an up tuck here. Comfort. And it says noun. It tells you what it means. Then in this pocket... Her name is Tina. Her business card, I'm glad I kept it in here, is Wildflower Whispers. And her, sho her shop is Art of Tina Fay. So there is her card. Isn't it pretty? I love her card. Wildflower Whispers. And she sent me a really cute thank you card. And I'm glad I kept them in here. So I could tell you exactly who made these. 
And there's another empty card if you want to use it. Or use the front of it. See, even bags. Then you go through here. Look how pretty that is with the blue flower. It's got, oh, that's super, I love that page. Blue border with the blue flower. Get the corner of that page. These pages are beautiful. There's the signature. And she's got a little altered paper clip. It's got a shell on it. And there's a button. And then you come here and you have this piece. And look at her cute little fabric flip. And I love how they're all different. She went from small to medium <sighs> to a big one. And it's like, I love that. I really do. Against that paper bag that is so pretty. Sometimes you got to put a lot of thought into these. It's not always random. And of course, I wrote on all those pages. Then we have this. She stuck pieces in these. And this is a book page. Folded and put together. So how can you not? Love it when somebody takes a book apart and creates something this gorgeous. Oh, there's another tuck behind it. You can open it up and you've got some tickets there. And another one is CD holders. I've seen people add into books. You know, just the round ones. And they actually put shakers in them. And those are so cute. And there's a report card. <laughs> and there's another postcard. Look how pretty. A decorated floral receipt. Another postcard. And this is why we collect the stuff we do. Because they go into our journals. Postcards. Everything you see when I do my Sunny Fun Time videos. They all go in here. Ledger pages. Everything. So this book ended on November 6th. So now... See, how did I do this one? Wait a minute. August. Okay. There's going to be another one coming in there. September. Oh, because we get another one that's going to jump in like the Valentine's Day book. September 23rd, 24th. We find the September. The last day. Entry. 28th. Okay. Well, I have to come back to this journal to finish later. I will be writing in my Halloween journal for the month of October. So to be continued. <laughs> so we're going to leave this open. Set it aside. And guess where we're going. This interrupts into... The Halloween journal I chose. Now this I got off of somebody's sale. And I do not think I have her name. In it. But this started October 1st. This was a binder. It did have a lot of pieces. On this end. And I did have to remove some. But I ended up using some of them on the tags. I cut them off. Because it kept interfering with the opening and shutting of the books. Love the pinwheel. So here we go. So look how cute this is. This is stinking adorable. And it is a ring one. It's not a binder. It's just you can add rings. And you know get the holes and stuff and do. But look how cute this is. So this is the flip through. Something wicked this way comes. Lots of space for journaling, plus the really cute, cute picture pages. Like the web, I wrote down around it. I curved inside of it. And then these, could, you could add Halloween pictures if you had them, or pictures of friends and family. And I added the trick-or-treat, or maybe they did, I don't know. It's hard sometimes to distinguish what you add and what you don't add. <laughs> because I'm always putting stuff in mind too. And there's a button. 
in a, in a cute envelope. You could leave that up if you wanted to, lay it down. And then you go through this, and I don't think I have the person's name in this, and it's been a while. I can't remember sometimes. And then here was a little tag. Isn't that cute? That's just a little card. And the belly band is actually sequins. But this, these ones are not easy because you got to make sure you match their pages. Gone haunting. <gasps> then here's one. This was really cutely made. That's why I liked it. And it was different. And then, of course, there's my grandkids. I added their Halloween pictures on the pages when they came here. Sometimes I do the pictures after. So I take time to print them. And then here was some extra cards and pages. And I used it till... Let's see what the last day says. The 31st. It was used till the end. And, and this page was added. This little booklet was added. Isn't that cute? There's some little cards. So this was used for the whole month. And this is one of those bags you can cut in half. And then this is the back of it. Is that like not cute? So then we have this one. So then after this one, we had went back to this one and finished this till November 6th. So now we can tie this up and look for November 7th. But I like the way I went back and forth on these ones because most of the times my journals will end. But I decided to do it that way so I didn't waste any pages. So the next book starts November 7th, of course. And she will know who this belongs to. This came all the way from Australia. And she was actually surprised that I picked this particular journal because it's not normally my color. But this one is one of JD's paper sack journals. Um, her prices were a lot reasonable before she got bigger. And it became her total business. So I bought this when her prices were less, which was nice for me because I could afford them. Because the shipping coming from there is outrageous. So, I love it because this book has personal meaning to me more than just about the color. Cherry Blossoms was one of my great friends, Stephen, who used to be a friend of mine on Yahoo for years. And we sent Christmas cards to each other. We met in a Yahoo chat room. He was from New York. And I loved it. He was from Rhinebeck, New York. And I, his daughter is on my Facebook and when he passed away, it was a big shock. So I decided when I saw this book that I wanted to kind of do this in memory of him because he loved his cherry blossoms. And I do have stuff that I want to add to this later pertaining to him, actually. So we got our COVID vaccine shots. So I added our stickers in there and some receipts because, like I said, as we grow here in inflation, I want to do some comparison prices. So this journal is very eclectic because that's more her style. So I loved it for that reason. And because I've always loved her journals being that she has the favorite color. Me is blue. But this one here was for Steven in his memory. So this is a beautiful paper line. She uses her little bags. And I like I like the convenience of this kind because it's a handheld. So if you want to go for a walk and a nature trail or something and you decide you want to take pictures or just write, this is like the perfect size journal to carry. So this is a mixture, a lot of the same. But you can see my style is very eclectic. These journals, I don't believe any two look alike. They're all very different from each other. 
Um, the creators are very different in how they create. I love the little charms. The charms are so cute. So I was really happy to get this one. But people, don't be shocked because you see pink. Because <laughs> there is a lot of pink in this. That's why she was shocked that I got it. But I also like the yellow and I like the mixture of the blacks with it. Like, I really like dark colors too. But Steven, look what I did. I went and bought this in your memory because I know how you love your cherry blossoms and that there is such thing as you being able to look down. You're seeing this, hopefully. She had a very light fabric flip, which is cute because this one you can see the words through. Then here's an up tag. She does a lot of up tags, a lot of sewing. Sometimes these are these books, you know, they might look easy to put together, but try it. Sometimes they're not, especially when you're looking for the pieces. If you don't have like an assortment already separated or an idea that you started and you started separating, sometimes the pieces take forever to get together. But this is a very cute and darling journal for sure. It's very cute. And I will miss purchasing her journals because she does have cute ones. But sometimes the cost just gets to be too much when you're on a budget. So this goes to January 13th. Look how pretty the back is too. I love how that springs. So we have January 13th. Oops. I don't know why that. Or no. This was. Uh, yeah. This one here I did the same thing. At the end of December. See, how did I do this one? No. I left this one. And then I started this and went to the next one. So this was actually the first one, I think. Is it the first? Yeah. So how did I do that? I don't know, but I left this one, I believe... December 1st. Okay. So what I did was I wrote in here P.S. My new Christmas journal arrived from Spain, so I will be continuing there and then come back here when I'm done. <laughs> so that's what I did. This actually was the beginning of the new year, so I kind of messed up on my order, but that's okay. We got to fix this. So I came here and I started this one and then I went back to that one. I'll have to fix the order when I put them on my shelf. Let me grab my glue. <laughs> Sometimes that happens when you go back and forth. I thought I had them in order, but I guess I didn't. So we're going to glue this back together. Come on, glue.
this here for a second. Gotta fix it. I think I pulled it too hard when I opened it, but that's okay. It happens. So this one would be No, that's not right either. November. Oh yeah, it would be. It would be it would be this one and then Christmas and then into the new year. Wow. I really messed up on the order. This should have been the first two. But oh well, don't down nobody. <laughs> so this is a chatterbox cover i love chatterbox books and this one actually came from spain this was a random one because like i said i don't pay attention to where they come from or anything like that i just go through etsy and the one that resonates with me this one did i bought it and i actually had a really nice conversation with the lady who made this and this is actually my very first one from spain so I was pretty happy. She's got the admit one with the two little horses. So this was right up my alley too. Love this wherever she got her items. Very cute. She left a lot of wide open spaces to write. Which I like that too. These are Christmas pictures of my grandkids. I did my oldest grandson first. I did him in order of how they drew names, I think. Because he got picked first. And then this says Santa Mouse. She left poetry pages in here, which is really cool from books. And then I thought that was really nice how she hinged that in. Then this is pretty. I don't know if that's mulberry paper or what, but that's awesome looking. And then this says the Christmas ball. So even the introduction... Waltz Chorus. Look how pretty that page is. Some books have some amazing pages. And then here's another side tuck. And then here is Kylie. Her name was Drew Second, so she's in my spine. My youngest granddaughter. And then here is Livia. I mean Layla. She's the oldest of the twins. And then there's our Christmas tree. Love that Christmas card. These are kind of like my new photo albums. <laughs> and then here's treasures. Because I can journal and then put my, the other twin. There's Livia. And then, of course, there's my doggie. There's Roni. She's such a good girl. And then I have this day trippy little hippie. I found that on Pinterest. So I thought it was cute. There's Layla and there's my dog half off her new bed. We were letting her choose between her old and her new bed. And she kind of squished the old bed up in the air. And she picked her new one. Then there's my second oldest grandson, Stephen. And then here is her beautiful Christmas stuff. But I like this book particularly because I could scatter their pictures throughout the book too. There's Stephen and my husband half asleep. And then there's my other son, grandson, Ethan. And that was cute because they're brothers. And this was really cute having a hobby horse with two boys on it. I thought that was adorable. So like this book just worked out perfect. And then here is a beautiful little envelope. I don't know where they get these, but man, this is adorable. It's like an airmail type. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. I love that. And then there's more of Ethan. Then we have the Christmas Parade, my messy writing. Then here's a cute with a deer on it. Could put a picture of my husband on that one. Then here's some more Uptuck pictures. And then here's some doors. And then that's where I finished. And I did leave it open at the end of this one 
just in case I wanted to ask, add more pictures. And then this is Christmas in Australia and some more tucks. But these pages here leave it open that I can come back and paint in them or do whatever I want. So I left them, look how cute that card is. I left them open to, you know, some mixed media if I wanted to. And then of course, this was just all December, I believe. And that's how I utilize my journals for the holidays. And I do try to keep track and not just myself, but like historical things that's going on too. So yeah, this ended December 31st. So we're going to gently tie that up because that ribbon's still wet. <laughs> But that is it, everybody. So this continued, and then I went back to this one. And I wrote till January 13th. I thought this one said January 1st. Oh, that's because this one was here. This was this was 2021. And this was into 2022 because this one will continue next year. That's why it looked messed up. Yeah. So this is into the year now. Jeez, I'm confusing myself. <laughs> so that would be the beginning of this year. And these were all 2021. That's why it got so confusing. I was like, what the heck? Because this one finished. So this was the first one. I was right. I did it in the right order. So that's how it went and then this is the end and then this is the new beginning so you get to see into 2022 so now it makes sense so with that tell me what your favorite journal is which one did you like the better layout of what do you think of these i like hearing your opinions in my comments come talk to me because i enjoy it so with that whatever time zone you're in i hope you're having a great one and if you're interested in doing any of this kind of stuff please contact us we have a big crafty community that shows lots of videos on how to's and you could even add your own and with that, whatever time zone you're in, I hope you're having a great one. I will see you soon. Bye.